Gospel Singers. This is Ruth Ratliff from Gemini Voices, and today we have with us Sarah Borda from Body Heart Therapy. Today we're going to explore the benefits of myofascial release therapy on the voice. When I first went for a therapy session with Sarah, uh, it popped into my head how beneficial and wonderful that this could be not only for everyone, obviously, but for singers specifically because of all the tension issues that we can build up. So I wanted to share this with everybody because I felt that it was just too good to keep all to myself. <laughs> and I'm going to turn it over to Sarah just to explain a little Thank bit you. about her her experiences, her background, and so forth. Thank you. Well, I think it's too good to not, sh not to share too as well. Um, I started as a massage therapist 14 years ago, and um, my life got very opened up through body work, and um, I went to a myofascial class with John Barnes, and, and that just turned me in a totally different direction. Myofascial release has to, is a therapeutic modality. It's really an art as well, just like singing. Mm -hmm. We use our bodies and access the tension level in, in our clients' bodies by um, feeling with our hands for myofascial restrictions. And a restriction has to do with the connective tissue of the body. And the connective tissue is like the straight jacket that either locks us down or opens us up. And as you all know, with your singing, you know, sound travels faster over water and fluid and space. And there's a whole different ease and flow with your, with your soul coming through your voice. This modality starts to melt the frozen restrictions in your body. Therefore, you can actually feel your voice coming forth more organically as well. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful, wasn't it? And um, really? to bring voice in for myself, I'm actually, I started taking voice lessons with you. <laughs> you know, Ruth is helping me with my voice, you know, sort of helping me get out of my way so that I can experience that kind of flow through my voice because that's a territory that I really haven't experienced that much. Mm -hmm. And so this has been very synergistic for us. And there is a lot of harmony between sound and the fluidity of your body and vibration. And um, even in the treatment room in myofascial release, we talk a lot about making noise if it hurts or, you know, allowing authentic sound to move through you during the treatment because your sound actually is healing. But you already know this. <laughs> actually, a lot of people don't know that. No? A of, no, a lot of people do not know that their own voices can heal them on a cellular level. Mm. Um, this, right? It just, it's I know, so it, it's so amazing. And it's also so the fascia, if Sarah will, I'm sure, uh, speak to this, the fascia is very viscous and it carries all sorts of uh, energy and hormones yes. and so forth. Uh, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself so, a little bit. So, no, that's true. The fascia actually has a, a look kind of like this, this sort of webby. Um, matrix, this liquid matrix, and it's actually meant to be, we're meant to be very liquidy so that our animation can move through our body and we can live this fully expressed human experience. And in our traditional world, you know, there are many times where our voice is shut down. And so when our voice is shut down and we're, we clamp down, you know, emotionally in this area, then that creates a, a freezing of that matrix. And I'm very connected to voice work because I know the value of full expression from a, a whole somatic, soma, S-O-M-A, somatic place that the body needs to be free and the mind will be free and the voice will be free. Absolutely. So I love working with the skeleton and the concept of how the skeleton really can't stand up by itself. But what, what does control where the bones are in space? What controls that is the connective tissue or the fascia. It's not this central line that is in control. It is the, the fascia. This, I use hosiery gauze to, to illustrate. It's the fascia that is pulling the bones into different positions in space. And the fascia tightens down from trauma and life and emotional holding patterns. So now I'd like to illustrate how the bones would look in gravity if we didn't have our fascia holding our bones in place. So they would be in a pile on the floor. 
our intent today was to educate you on the benefits of myofascial release and how it can help become more fully self-expressed with your in your life in general with people you love and even yourself this this work and this collaboration between voice and myofascial release is for all human beings not just singers right. you guys get it a little bit differently than than the rest of us but this is available for all of us. We all can have an improved quality of life through sound and expression. And Sarah and I have found that we enjoy working together. So we're collaborating on workshops that we're going to call Heart Voices. So Heart Voices is our collaborative workshop that combines my modality, my myofascial release with Ruth's expertise in singing and voice and music. In that workshop, you will have experiences of your body opening up and sound moving through your body. And we will also give you tools to use on yourself, tools that you can take home and work on your body and continue to open yourself up so you can continue to become more fully expressed and have that voice just flow free. So keep making sounds. Thank you for joining us today. It's been really fun. We've had a great time being with you today. Be well and sing your heart out. <laughs>